I'm heading out and it's starting to sprinkle, so I don't know if it's going to start coming to flood. They're giving thunderstorms today. But I'm out in the Subaru. I'm going to go to probably just go to Twin Lakes for the morning, and this afternoon I'll hit up the lake or somewhere. But I'm going to go over some of my gear that I haven't went over, some little lures and baits that I haven't went over, some more of the Subaru. And uh, this might be a one day video where I go this morning, as of now, and this afternoon, and post it. Or I might make this video over a couple days. So right now as I'm talking, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But, I'm making a video. I'm gonna show some fishing, show some gears, show the fishing mobile, what I'm making it and stuff, and uh, I'm just gonna post that video. I don't like to edit a lot. My editor's junk. So the less I can edit for now, the easier it is on me. Uh, I need to really learn how to edit real good and get me a GoPro. And that's gonna be another topic. When I get more subscribers and more people will talk to me about that, then we'll go into it. Uh, I might even pay a person a day or two a week uh, that's around me that knows how to edit to come over me buy all the stuff and pay what it's worth to edit but that could be six months to a year down the road depending on how this channel grows this is twin lakes again not that early in the morning it's a lot warmer than the last video I think I made here I park right here and there's the road this is the smaller pond where the fish bop most of the time. This is the back of the Subaru again, which I'm turning into a fish mobile and Overlander. I got a Trailblazer. If I can get that thing straightened out, if it's worth putting the money into, then I want to turn that car into it. But what I plan on doing this is painting this, painting this bed liner tan, desert, de the desert tan. And uh, just rolling it on because this car is nothing to me but dependable. I, I don't care the way it looks and it's got rust and I think Desert Tan, the bed liner would be great on it. It's cheap. It just take me a few hours and that's that. And I want to put a tent on the top. But right here I got my homemade bungee rack. That's the main reason uh, when I carry me and the three other family members my two daughters and my wife <clears throat> this thing is packed i got this huge cooler i got this right here is a seven foot four rod and it's touching the windshield up there if you can see that little dot i got them stuck in the window visor and uh this is her rod and reel and the kids reels are at home and this is a broken rod that's like three feet long that it broke after I found it. So I just rigged it up to use. I got four pound line on it. It's good for catching bait fish, piddling around with worms and stuff. But I got a ton more rods and reels at home. There's my catfish rod, over eight foot long. It is not gonna fit in this, even in a Tahoe or a full size vehicle. I got my minnow bucket. I keep some bait in it every once in a while. And I keep a few small fish if I decide to take them home to the pond like crappie and brim and whatnot. Got my cricket cage. I got another one at home, a smaller one. Extra bungee cords, extension cords, ropes. I got knobs and hatchets and stuff underneath this thing. The cooler's empty. This is a baby stroller, of course. And I got some rags and towels because you never know when you're going to need them to clean up something or wipe something. Uh miscellaneous tools in here i got a screwdriver some sockets some ratchets and wrenches in there come over here see that's the thing about this car it never unlocks anymore when you want it to you got to physically unlock everything every time you touch it but it's a good car i got a jacket because it gets cold and i washed it and hung it up but after it spends about a month in here, it starts smelling stale. And I got the booster seat for my five-year-old. 
six month old girl she got her car seat i got my huge tackle bag this thing is loaded this thing's getting loaded i bought this the other day it was real cheap it was ten dollars and all i do with this is pan fish stuff trout crappie brim carry it with me plan on getting a kayak so this thing don't weigh nothing it's full almost <clears throat> and that right there carries around just what i need for that but major fishing something i might do today i'll keep this with me i keep them both in the car but depending on if i'm going on a boat i'll grab this thing if i'm going out on a creek hard to get to or something and i'll send its little fish i'll grab this thing uh, I got my worms right here. I just took them out of the fridge. They're about two weeks old and they're still doing okay, but they're not going to live much longer. So I need to do something with them because I don't like to waste them. This is what the view of the rods and reels look like up here. Now, let me tell you, this sunroof is ginormous. I don't like sunroofs. I hate using them. The sun burn your forehead. That thing probably ain't been washed in years, and I don't care. That's the thing about this car. I don't I don't have to keep it clean. This is why I, I use it for this. But yeah, this is a tour of the Subaru. I'm going to Plasti Dip the back windows, these, black, just to hide some stuff I got in here, and get them kid tent things that put on the windows right there to make it harder to see in here and throw towels and stuff over here i ain't never had a problem with thieves yet but what i've got in this car is over a thousand dollars worth of stuff probably close to two thousand and somebody bust the window and take every bit of it sometimes i wouldn't even know but yeah that's the tour of the subaru <clears throat> We'll see what else I could say about it. You know, it's just a single overhead cam boxer motor. Plan on getting a luggage rack to go on the roof. Uh, but if I get a kayak, I'll have to settle for the kayak. But a rack would do me good right now to keep that cooler and stuff on top of it. Um, what else have I got to say about this? I got this waterproof box. Found it. You, it's pretty much made to put your cell phone in, strap it to you, or the boat, or a kayak, and I've tested it before. It really floats. I've held it underwater with my hands for a while. It's leak-proof. It didn't get a drop in it. So I really trust this thing, and you should get one. Um, what else can we talk about this car? See, there's rust on this side. It is all-wheel drive. Everything works in this. By all wheel drive, you cannot turn it off. It is four wheel drive from the moment you leave out to the moment you stop. It was made that way from the factory. There's no buttons to turn it off or any of that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> the fog lights, they put the fog lights in this car. They're brighter than the headlights. And one shot, so I tested it out. Or I didn't test it out. I took it apart to fix it. And, uh, I seen what they did. It's not an ordinary fog light in the fog lights. It's headlights. So it's got six headlights. It's two on bright and four on dim if you got the fog lights on. So that's why the fog lights are glass and they're brighter than the actual headlights on low beams. And my headlights went out for a while in this car and I just drove around with the fog lights on and I could see fine. But yeah, the air conditioner works. So. Uh, it's got a six disc CD changer. It works. It's underneath this seat. And yeah, it's dirty because I'm a mechanic and this is my work vehicle. It's been my work vehicle for years. I'm not going to try to keep this clean. This is what this car is made for. It's not made for looks. Uh, whoever had it before me, it came from Oregon. And I'm in Alabama now. But that's why it's got all the rust. And then they broke the cup holders out right here. This is some kind of makeshift cup holder that the factory put on it. I will never use the console. See, I just now noticed I think this is broke. But, uh, I just put my drinks in here. They had two people and a kid and two dogs living in here. This thing was filthy. It still is filthy. And I'm not going to detail it. I'm not going to take it apart and spend the time on it. But that right there is a cup holder. This was supposed to be where you put your drink on. 
But to be honest, that thing's a nuisance. I'm about to break it out and throw it away because just sticking your cup straight down in here keeps it from flying out as easy. Got two cup holders right here. Like that right there. They work perfect. But I really wish that they hadn't have broke that. It's got this right here. See, there's a lot I was talking about. It's a headlight in the fog lights. It's not an ordinary fog light bulb. But yeah, I keep bank receipts and stuff like that and bills in it, which, matter of fact, the lot bill needs to go in there. And after about six months to a year, when I know everything's okay, I go put it in my files in my house. Uh, yeah, glove box. I ain't no telling what's in here. I know it's bill, not bill cell, but, uh, tag bill, uh, tag, whatever you call it, registration, uh, insurance, things to pick up my kid from school and drop her off, and, uh, extra phone charger for different kinds of phone chargers, because mine is the top C. 3.0 or whatever you call it. it goes in either way that's the old style because i've had this phone for a little over half a year now that's what a lot of phones still have is the old style uh this is the knob to this i took it off because you, i only want it on defrost or face and people mess it up and the only way to change it so i have to take all this out and pull it with a pair of pliers to swap it and so I got it right now on face because it's summertime and I blow the cold air on me. And then uh, wintertime, I put it back on defrost. And what people do is they'll start moving it and it starts blowing out all the vents pretty much and not doing its job and it's weak. So I put it where it goes, take that thing off, and that solves the problem from people messing with it. But yeah, um, this just turned into a tour of my Subaru, I guess. And this is how I go fishing and the work. You got my sunglass holders right here. Look at that. Nasty. But uh, believe it or not, this thing don't stink. It actually smells good. I guess it's because of that. And I take a shower constantly, day in and day out. Everybody does it gets in this. This is real neat. Holds cards, pen. Uh, got good mirror. It's magnet. It's all waterproof stuff. The headliner ain't sagging. And like I said, this car is nasty. But it's a work vehicle. It's not to impress people. And I don't live out of it. My house ain't this way. And I've got three other cars that are beautiful. Spotless. I would have a fit if they looked like this car. I would not put up with it. But this thing... It's what it's made for. This is the point in having a fishing vehicle. So if you don't got one, you need to get one. If you fish or work, you need a work vehicle. It is pointless people trying to spend lots of money and show off nice, fancy, great cars to go to work in and stuff. No, you get you a nice car and keep it in the garage and drive it on Sundays like I do. It's got tweeters. They work. This has got a great sounding, and it's loud stereo in this car. Speakers everywhere. But this thing is small. It is a four-cylinder. <clears throat> and on top of that, it's automatic. It has no power. It's got like maybe pushing 120 horsepower. You ain't going nowhere fast in this thing unless you wind it up on the highway and keep it wound up. And I still don't like to go above 70, 75. This thing starts rocking and swaying. So we keep it below 70 and 75 most of the time. It's got heated mirrors on the side. The defrost works on them. It works on the back glass. One of my whoppers came off because they beat. All Subarus do that. I was going down the road, and in front of Hardy's, one of the whoppers just flew off. Well, I just left it in the ditch bank. I got one whopper. It's the driver's side, and I don't even use it because I keep so much Rain-X on this windshield. You don't need the whoppers. In fact, the whoppers just wipe the Rain-X off if you use them. This right here quit working, and I was trying to push the buttons, and it just, it fell in. That's a compass and uh, a clock. That controls the sunroof, but the key's off. All the lights work in this thing, but I got them most of the time set the off. See, he's got a lot in the very back right there, and it's got one right here. And most of the time I've got them turned off, but I've got that and set the door, which I'm about to turn it off because I leave the doors open a lot and they burn all day. But let's turn this 
tore up the Subaru into a fishing vehicle. So now I've told you about 12 minutes of the Subaru. If anybody else wants to see another video of the Subaru or got any odd deals or something, we'll make another video. But for the rest of this video, let's turn it into a fishing ve uh, video. But I might make this two different edits. This might just be the Subaru video. And then I make the fishing video. Or I might just edit it all into one. I don't know. I just woke up today to go have fun. But, uh, anything else about the Subaru, just comment or ask me. Right now, let's quit talking about it and go fishing. What I've got here is called a Granite River Outdoors Crawfee Lure with a spinner. And what it is, it's a Marivu jig, 16th ounce, with a bottom spinner on it. And uh, I've caught a few fish on this. For some reason, the bass like it more than the crawfies. I guess it's because of the time of the year. But this is a review on this. I like it a lot. And we're at Twin Lakes, like I said. We're going to see what we can catch with it. The only ones they had was chartreuse and yellow. You cannot find these nowhere anymore, not even online. So I got six of them. One of them's been lost, and now I'm down to five. I got a guy that's making me some, but they're not the same. If anybody knows where I can get more of these, please let me know because I love these. So far, no luck. So I got my rod holder right there, my ultralight and worms. When worse comes to worse, use bait, real bait. So I'm gonna throw a worm out there. I've been here for about half an hour. I'm gonna throw a worm out there, and if I don't catch nothing again in the next 20 minutes, a little brim because right now it's the time they're biting i'm gonna go find a new lake new ponds and i won't be coming back here for a while because look how grown up this has gotten just in the past couple weeks i tossed out there a couple times got so hung up i thought i wasn't gonna get my lure back and lily pads so i'm gonna throw a little hook out there with a worm gonna wait a while i don't get nothing i probably won't be back to this spot for a while I, this thing is too overfished in the same spots and all the good spots the houses are on they don't fish and they got signs up saying you can't fish over there and that's another story because this is public property and i did it before but it's got so overgrown and people come out there gawking at you you can't have peas well you send my new rod holder i got that from walmart for two dollars and i know why it was two dollars because as soon as i went to go kick it in the ground it bent so i said oh crap this thing's built cheap, so I gotta fix it, take it back. It's just two dollars. Still ain't got a bite, so I bend it back out straight with my hands. I wouldn't advise getting that even for two dollars. I mean, if you get it, it'll work for ultralight, but don't kick it in the ground. Okay? You just need to stick it in there with your hands, and if you gotta force it in, just don't force it because it'll bend on you. There's my float right there, and the wind's blowing my line. No bot. I'm about to just go somewhere else, I reckon, because the way this is turning out, this is just going to be a Subaru tour only video. Hey. The fish ain't biting, so I came home. We're all getting ready. We're going to go to the Gunners for Dam. I got a skipjack I'm going to use for bait. I guarantee I'm going to catch some fish down there. Twin Lakes. I just ain't going back for a while. That place has gotten useless for fishing. When I get a kayak, I'm going to go try it out. But until then, I'll just drop past that place. Well, I went to uh, 431 Bridge in Gunnersville, and I caught two bass. This is the biggest one. That's all the luck I had for today. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.